this is Tracy Kelly um, I want to um, do this video to compliment my other build uh, video on building your own curriculum um, I'm going to try to go in detail with um, how to build your own curriculum and what I'm going to do for this year I'm going to try to do this in one video however if it gets too long I'm going to split it up into two videos so I'm going to try to be brief but detail at the same time so we'll see how that goes anyway I want to start with um, in my last video I could not think of the author of the books um, how uh, what your whatever grader needs to know I did find out these books actually go to eighth grade I thought it was to high school they actually go from pre-kindergarten through eighth grade so I want to talk a little bit about these books and will I, I want to tell you the author's name actually the author of the book is E.D. Hirsch and he does a uh, books like this so that you can basically he details what you should um, teach for each grade level and he even gives um, basically excerpts or um, some samples of even the literature um, for instance like if it's poetry he'll give you know a list of um, poems and even if it's the bigger you know the the novels he'll give you know different kind of um, extras you might not finish it but you just have pieces of it um, it goes all the way it goes through basically uh, math science history social studies um, that's a math um, language and literature and I think that's about it oh, art art and music as well so this is a very good book I love these books I actually oh, I'm so grateful I had I put both of these books on hold at my local library they had over 13 copies so I was so happy all I had to do was go pick them up and I get to keep them for three weeks and if I still need more time I can um, renew them so I'm happy about that and this is and I don't feel too bad because they had 13 copies so um I'm, I have a rising first grader rising fourth grader who will also be doing some fifth grade work but I'm going to basically plan out my curriculum based on fourth grade so I found both of these books um if you have a fourth grader this book is great it goes into details with literature um with the um language aspects or grammar um it gives you um, homophones it gives you synonyms and antonyms so you go through basically the entire grammar um in this book he tells you what you can do and what you can teach um geography it has this so it does um latitude and longitude my computer is like at a really weird angle so i'm sorry that i'm moving it around okay so he does latitude and longitude he goes through actually for history he's doing the american revolution and some aspects of um new age basically the um early uh, renaissance period too uh, we passed some of that so we're going to be working on a civil war and so i'm going to basically do the um the uh, American Revolution as a review from third grade but one thing he did have in here that I was happy to see was he had um, a section on the branches of government which we'll be talking about this year so we get to go over that um, I love the art ideas in here um, he basically gives um, different periods of time and different art from those periods of time so he gives examples of how you can um, apply art with you know what you're learning even if it's American history you got things in here about American art um, African art different places from around the world uh, music I like also he gives learning how to read notes um, about what a rest looks like in reading notes he even starts um, talking about aspects of the the computer keyboard I mean I, I'm sorry the piano keyboard and uh, he just gives different kind of vocabulary for different um, musical um, musical terms and math he goes through basically entire fourth grade math curriculum uh, more complex multiplication long division um, I'm gonna show you some of the long division basically division with the remainders he goes over that um measurement so you have to check it out angles oh it's gonna be my favorite angles with um 
the protractors uh a lot of geometry in here um and then science science he goes over anatomy now we'll be doing physical science this year along with a little of um what else are we doing chemistry he's going to be learning the um periodic elements and different aspects of beginning chemistry and so we won't be following this book very much because they're doing mostly some of the um science we've already covered so i wanted to kind of give you um you know the name of that author and what the book looks like since i didn't have it in front of me the last time um the same thing with first grade um your what your first grader needs to know um they go over basically early history um the pharaohs egypt um, the ice age uh, christopher columbus the mayflower and you know, basically early american history and a little bit of the um, early early history um, same thing with art you can practically pick and choose what what you want to do art on whether it's on a history level or if you just want to look at art pieces i have some ideas like this um to let them look at or her look at some pieces and create her own piece based on you know some of the pieces here and we'll talk about the author and what they were trying to get people to feel or see in their pieces um uh, music they're learning basically some instruments um you can learn uh, different composers uh, learn some national um national songs um math greater than or less than uh, counting to 100 uh, computation geometry measurement time you know basic math for um she's going to be doing um basically an aspect of uh, life science this year so we have a lot of things about habitat um animals dinosaurs so we're going to be talking about mostly um life science we are going to get into a little bit of um, learning about uh, energy temperature and things like that so we're going to put a little physical science in with uh, life science so those are those books and i recommend if you don't want to buy them they are books that i would recommend buying now all, some books i recommend just checking them out however these are books i definitely want to add to my library i'm just basically using them now for checking them out so that i can plan my curriculum for the year but for something to fall back on i would love to go ahead and purchase these books so if you want to you know check them out like i did and renew them that's fine too but if you want them to kind of look at throughout the year i would definitely say that these are wonderful and you can go on amazon or i would say amazon because you can get them used so if they're in good condition you may be able to get each book for maybe about 12 or 13 dollars and i think they have a retail value of 35 for the hardback and this one says 13 so you may even be going cheaper with the um softback and amazon if it's used because if it's brand new 13 it's got to run about nine or eight used on amazon so i would say check amazon out or go to the library so again it's uh this book is about ed hirsch okay so we got that book out the way i'm already up to eight minutes so we'll see how long this video gets but um i had a, a lady a young lady who called me on the phone and she was a homeschool parent that had worked with my husband in his side business um he owns a, a recording studio and she had come to record some music and she was she didn't even realize that i homeschooled so she just so happened to see his facebook page and he shared one of my blogs and she realized that i homeschool and she was like well she called me and said i've been i've been trying to figure out who i could give all this these resources to and i saw that you homeschool and and, and the guy just told me to give them to you so she asked me the grades of my children and i told her that and uh, we came up with a time and a date that we could meet and we did and she provided me with a lot of resources for a fourth and first grade um she is actually sending her kids to public school this year because she was experiencing homeschool burnout 
So she felt really good about them going into the school system, but she still wanted to, you know, give her materials to a family that could use them instead of just donating them anywhere. So I was very grateful to receive her materials. Um, she basically kept a lot of her um, K-12 uh, books and she had a lot of those. So, you know, a lot of times with K-12, you're supposed to return things and things like that. But she said that she something happened. She didn't get a chance to return all her materials and they just started collecting in, the, um, in her mother's house. So she basically passed them down to me. So... I know a lot of consignment stores also carry K-12 books. So, um, you know, if you find them, it's a good idea to, if you want to use them for the year. And at the end of the year, if you want to return them back to the school some way, you'll probably have to pay for postage. Because I know when we did K-12, we didn't have to pay. Um, they sent us the return labels, shipping labels. But if you want to return them to K-12, you can always look up their information and return them if you don't feel right about keeping them. Um, but, you know, because she's had them for so long and, you know, she was passing them down, I said at least I can get a good year of work out of them. So, um, she sent me a lot of workbooks, but one of the, the more valuable things that she sent me that I can really use are the um, teacher um, books from K-12. We have a spelling, a history, and a science. And the way I'm gonna use these for spelling, I'm going to take the weekly list and I'm going to basically give him that as his spelling list. So I'll show you, like they have this for the assessment or the test. So you can take this list and basically you can um, give the uh, spelling words for the week and you can go over them. If you wanna print this out also um, for him to have to look at, you can do that or they can copy them from a whiteboard or something. And another thing that she, if you see me bending down, my books are like already organized in a bin so I'm, I don't wanna mess them up. But uh, she gave me this vocabulary book as well and for this is for my fourth grader i decided you know some of them were written had writing in it but you can still take the words and do the activities and even if they're already written in we can go over them together so it has a lot of vocabulary words for fourth grade which is great so my first advice is for you if you're planning a spelling and a vocabulary unit for your student you can take any book or any word list offline. There are some, um, I have one and I think it's freespellinglist.com. Um, I, I think they have it based on grade levels. You can print out these, um, these uh, word lists or you can you know, go online and, and write them down or get books and make up your own vocabulary words or your, um, your uh, word, spelling words for the week. And you know you can find a list and you can have them copy them down find a definition or meaning or you can go over the definition or meaning but that's what you can do it's easy peasy for the spelling um, list you can look them up online just about or you can create your own based on where you think they should be I um, you need to get more challenging words you can do that if you need to get you know simpler words you can do that so that's what I suggest for fourth grade and this cost me absolutely zero because this was given to me so that's zero for that she also gave me uh, for first grade and i think i told you before um i basically went to the consignment store and i found um this reading um cd rom and i found danny and the dinosaur which will be one of our literature books and this will of course be what we go through for reading but she also gave me this book called peanut and it's a little um step into reading book and it has you know kind of the larger words that she can grasp and understand so we'll be going over that as well um so she gave me that for history um, also we're going to be doing um i think i said that in the other book we're going to be doing like early history so i have um pompeii i have a tut's mummy book for my first grader and uh, we also have some more books um, we're going to be doing 
some uh, Renaissance stuff along with my son. So we have Knights in Shining Armor. And this I was so grateful for. This is the history book for my first grader. Okay, I am so excited about this because out of all the things that I had, I could not find a history book that I really thought she could grasp and that I wanted to use. So this basically details um, American history and some parts from around the world and it makes it colorful and where we can go over it. So this is an entire um, history geography book for first grade right here. So I'm excited about that. I also had um, the K-12 um, K-12 workbooks for science that we'll be going over some, some things. I had this book actually from last year. I don't know if you remember me talking. If you see my earlier video on building your own curriculum, you can, um, you'll find out. But uh, this book was $8.99 and it basically, she started on it last year, but it goes in depth with every subject. Um, phonics, it has flashcards in here. Um, beginning literature, grammar, things like that. So basically we'll be using this um, to complement or supplement some of the other subjects. This book was $8.99, however, I bought it last year. So I'm not counting how much I spent this year on my curriculum. So, so far, the only thing that I have paid for is my CD-ROM, which was, I can't remember now, I think it was about $3 at the consignment store. And we have Danny the Dinosaur that was like a dollar. So, so far, four dollars for my curriculum. Okay, then we have this big, wonderful Georgia Mathematics uh, workbook. Now, this book didn't have very much writing in it, and it starts off with like some geometry. But I love this book because it's colorful and it's very visual, it goes into different topics of math. Uh, in a visual way it also has little stories in here to go with word problems and different things like that so i really like this book i, I found this book at the consignment store didn't know what grade level it was for so took out my phone in the consignment store googled it guess what first grade is what i needed first grade so this book was i believe this book was a dollar fifty so, so far, it's $5.50 for my curriculum. Okay, then I have Sylvester and the Magic Pebble right here, which is another one of our literature book. Consignment store, $1, so $6.50. This is the science book for first grade that was K-12. It had some writing in it, but if we want to do some, um, some activities or experiments, this is still great. And it, you know, I don't have the K-12... Um, curriculum but it kind of gives me an idea of what to teach about if I want her to do some of these lessons so I can find something online that I can teach about this subject and we can supplement it with the workbook I'm sorry if I keep bending down so okay so this was free of course because this was given to me also okay so so far we have everything for six I think it was 650 and let's see, let's go back to my fourth grader. I'm gonna try to get more than one book so that I don't have to keep bending out of the the screen. Okay, so she gave me this K-12 book for classic readers. This is actually a fifth grade book, but one of the subjects that my son is very advanced in is literature. So we're actually gonna even be doing Shakespeare this year, which I'm excited about. Shakespeare is one of my absolute favorites. I'm such a Shakespeare fan. How about I took that as an elective course in college, uh, Shakespeare and Literature, because I love Shakespeare. I was one of the kids in middle school that many people didn't get the Shakespeare stuff, but I would go home and, and check out at the time it was videos, VHS. I would check out the Romeo and Juliet <laughs> for Friday nights and watch it. Yeah, I know. Don't judge me. But I love Shakespeare. I always got it. I like poetry a lot and I write. So 
I found Shakespeare has a lot of poetry in his writing. I love his writing. Normally he tells love stories too, which I just like the format. And his his none of his his uh, works are are boring. They have action. They have murder. They have betrayal. They have love. They have all types of things in it. So I love Shakespeare. But the uh, story that we're going to be doing from him this year is um, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh, we'll also be doing uh, Little Women, uh, Sherlock Holmes, uh, kind of like a the mystery, the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, um, Young Frederick Douglass, um, and a lot of poetry, American theme, like America the Beautiful, uh, stories on Christopher Columbus, Abraham Lincoln. So that's that one. I think I told you, and uh, of course that one was free. Um, Sleepy Hollow and Rip Van Winkle. This one I got from the consignment store for a dollar. Seven fifty. Now we're up to that. Cricket in Times Square. Also one of our books that we're going to be discussing. Um, consignment store one dollar. Eight fifty. We're going to be doing Pollyanna and literature. Pollyanna was free because it was given to me. Understanding geography. We're doing um, map skills again. We're also going over um, the states, um, natural resources. We will also be doing state capitals um, this year. So um, that'll be part of our geography as well. So um, this book was free. These are workbooks to go along with the teacher books. This is the um, language arts for and history for. Same thing with these. I will probably have to, um, well, I know language arts, but history, I'll probably look up the subjects that are in the workbook, go over them and teach them, and then give supplemental work through the workbook based on what I find. And those were free. Langston Hughes. Langston Hughes. Love Langston Hughes. This will be part of literature as well. This has many Langston Hughes works in here. It also gives a great introduction to Langston Hughes himself. I hope I'm not cutting off the books in this video because my computer is at a weird angle. Um, but it gives some great um, pieces in here from Langston Hughes that I love. Okay, now I have something. Anyone who, who homeschools know that Sometimes you, when you have multiple children, you homeschool uh, some things together. So whether they're in first grade or th fourth grade, you can do some things uh, collectively together. So I have this book on scorpions that I thought would be cool for them. Well, it has all kinds of insects, but it's called scorpions, centipedes, millipedes. Um, I thought it would be cool for them to read and look at for science. Um, also, since they're both going to be doing a little re renaissance, my, my son's basically doing a review of the renaissance period. Um, I have this book here. That Oh, let me go back. This book was from the consignment store, and it was a dollar. Also, so we're up to $9.50. Um, this book was given to me if you lived in the day of the nights. Um, come learn with me about fossils that goes along with science was given to me inventors was given to me by different uh american inventors also um we have a bible map book where we're going to be discussing things in the bible and locations um i can pull this out and it's very colorful so they can see some of the um maps of you know different parts of places that took place in the bible on the map this was already mine so this was nothing um, all of this stuff was given to me, so right now we're just up to $9.50. Um, also, I have some books from last year. I have a book, um, If You Lived in uh, During the American Revolution. I'm also going to order uh, the book on the Civil War, If You Lived in the Time of the Civil War. I'm going to order. I'm thinking seriously about ordering my son teaching textbooks. Uh, it's a math curriculum that I've looked at and I think it will be really good for him. You basically, it comes with CD ROMs and you look at it on the computer. They give you a workbook and textbook. You can see the solutions online, I mean on the computer, and then you can work out your problems. Um, and it's a really good, um, so far I think it was a really good um, curriculum. And it's like $119. Um, for my daughter, 
I don't really know yet if I'm going to do anything, um, like since we have the workbook and things. If I do anything, order like a curriculum for her, I may get um, like reading eggs again or, you know, something like that to help her with her reading skills. But um, both of them are going to have to have a handwriting book, one for cursive, one for manuscript, um, which you can get those for about $6 a piece um, on Amazon or ChristianBooks.com. And um, that's about it. I mean, we'll be doing little things throughout the year. Uh, we'll be touching on some um, um, Latin and some um, German and different things that we're doing already in history. Um, of course, we'll be doing math. We'll be, I mean, music. We'll be doing art. We'll also be doing computer skills. Um, a lot of that I'm getting online. I'm thinking about also ordering the um, education.com, www.education.com subscription or membership which is about i think it's 40 dollars for the whole year and you can basically print out unlimited amounts of worksheets or um, online workbooks and um, basically for every subject every grade they have a worksheet so you can type in or search for say state capitals it will give you every worksheet they have on state capitals uh, for the younger grades you can type in um, uh, alphabet um, phonics, um, beginning sounds, ending sounds, and they'll give you worksheets based on those. Or you can look it up by subject, you can look it up by topic or by grade. So I'm thinking about ordering that as well. So if I do that and all, I will be paying about, I would say, mm -hmm, uh, $159 plus uh, what I already had. I think I was up to ten dollars, ten fifty, something like that. But anyway, all in all, I would pay about one sixty for everything, not including school supplies, of course. But um, that's with all of that other stuff. But all the books I just showed you, basically, that I'm going to use to build my own curriculum for the year, came up to ten dollars, and that's for everything. And that's amazing to me i mean I, seriously i could sit here and build something with ten dollars including if you have not checked out easy peasy uh online homeschool go to her uh website it's www.allinonehomeschool.com it is amazing she has already lined a uh, planned out the entire curriculum from pre-k through high school all you have to do is sign on your kids can work directly from that website you never have to purchase a book textbook the most you probably would have to do is stock up on ink cartridges because you have to print out some of the worksheets but you could use that entire site for free um and it's, it's very detailed she has everything lined up that's where our computer skills are going to come from she has pe health on there you can it's a entire curriculum plus she gives you records keeping uh, materials like if you need a, a attendance sheet if you need somewhere to show how many hours you're working a day she has a link for that so it's amazing so if i don't do anything else and i did that i can do easy peasy and have everything there for both my grade levels all of my books here for ten dollars if i didn't order any other thing I would be planning a whole year of work for $10 for a curriculum. That's amazing. And it would be a very good curriculum. I mean, you may not have as many books and resources, but you really don't need that much stuff because you want to make sure that you're, it's not overwhelming, but they're learning what they need to learn. So that's how I usually plan it out. And you can go to your local consignment store if you don't have anyone to give you books like, you know, the books I had. You can find things if you look around. You can go to your consignment stores. You can go to uh, Amazon and buy some of the used books. You can, you know, go to some of the websites that have uh, in your area that may be giving away trade-in or, uh, you know, discount curriculum. Look it up, um, you know, for your area. See homeschool curriculum. Uh, trade-in curriculum and some online sites too and of course eBay and things like that also you may be able to find some things so my advice to you is before you go out and spend thousands of dollars on a curriculum think about the just putting in a little extra time and energy and building your own for cheap 
and as you can see that's exactly what I got it for it's cheap and it's nice very very detailed and it's going to be a great curriculum they're going to learn what they need to learn and I have everything right here and if you want to buy some extra little workbooks like if you need a extra writing workbook for you know practicing their handwriting or cursive or even if you want to print it out online you can, all you have to worry about is buying more ink cartridges for the year but you can print out uh, handwriting practice so basically you can use that to your advantage and the most you're gonna uh, come out of pocket with is having to replace your ink cartridges a little bit more often but um, that's how you can find it you can find textbooks at your consignment store you can go online and find used textbooks and they're a little bit maybe a dollar sometime a dollar fifty sometime up to five dollars or more but it's still cheaper than buying a thousand dollar curriculum if you have it fine that's great I wish that I could spend thousands of dollars without it would all be there for me but I try to do you know give my children a quality education and build it just by putting a little extra time and energy into planning but I get it for you know a little bit of nothing so I rather commit myself to planning for about a month and pay ten dollars versus having to spend five hundred to a thousand dollars and having it all planned out for me so I don't mind spending it on math the math curriculum because math is not my best subject and I want them to be able to get you know all they can so the great thing about teaching textbooks to me is it actually covers the material by an actual lecturer or person that is a math person and then they can go work it out if they don't understand it they can go back to their solutions if you don't understand it you can watch the solutions until you understand it so you can explain it to them so $119 for me for a year's worth of math curriculum is not out of the you know out of the question I would love to be able to do it and I still may be able to do it from easy peasy but I would just like the more in-depth work from um, teaching textbooks now teaching textbook starts at third grade so my daughter would not be able to benefit from it but I'm not really planning on buying anything for her because she's still doing the early math so we can use our workbook and easy peasy to cover her math um, the only thing I have considered buying for her is hooked on phonics only because she has a little more of a challenge with reading um, I'm thinking about purchasing that and, of, and still they have so many online things that you can do that you don't really have to buy anything unless you want to um, so if I do that that's going to be an extra $200 maybe but it's still $200 would still be cheaper <laughs> than $500 to $1,000 so I'm still saving between um, $800 to or more to three hundred dollars so you can't ask for more than that i'm pocketing three hundred dollars or i'm pocketing eight hundred or more dollars so that's basically how much it costs to buy a box, you know a box curriculum but i'm creating one for ten dollars or at the most two hundred dollars so i hope this has been helpful to you um i didn't want to make this video too long it's already over 33 minutes but um i was wanted to show you how you can do it build it cheaply and if you need any more resources you can always google or find websites online um, to help you plan it out to help you find worksheets or materials just let google be your best friend google in whatever you're trying to find if you look up and you find out your child needs to learn uh, uh i don't know angles this year type in worksheets on angles or third grade or second grade and you should get worksheets that you can print off from online let google be your best resource and everything else hunt it's worth it it's a lot of work you have to find that you first you have to research and find what you need to build but then once you know what they have to learn then go hunting and these books also are great you don't really even have to hunt with these or research because he tells you what they need to know for the year and all you have to do is jot down what you want to teach take what you want from this leave what you don't want or need and there you go you got your whole year planned out these books and you can get these for free because you can check them out
just find ways that you can save money. You don't have to make homeschooling expensive and you can still get a quality education. Okay, well, I think I've covered just about everything I wanted to cover. And I want to thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos, for subscribing, and for following my blog. Keep reading and commenting. I'm so happy to help you or to uh, talk to you about things if you need my help or you just want to leave me a comment of encouragement. It means the world to me. And I, I reply back to each and every one because I value you and I thank you for helping to make my passion of spreading homeschooling come true. And I thank you. And also, I have a great video coming up soon. I have to record it. My kids are actually going to speak about uh, what it's like to be homeschooled, their, their joys about it and the things that they don't like so much. Um, and I'm getting that together for them to do. And they are very honest kids, so they will tell you exactly how they feel. So um, look for that video coming very soon. Thank you so much. Have a great, great day. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.